Today's saint of the day of March 3rd is Saint Catherine Drexel. One of the reasons why Saint Catherine ever became a nun in the first place was because a pope did his job. In 1887, Catherine and her two sisters went to Rome and were received in audience by Pope Leo XIII. Having come into enormous inheritances upon their father's recent death, the young ladies were financially supporting some Indian missions in the American West. Catherine asked the Holy Father if he could send some missionaries to staff these missions. The Pope responded like a wise and zealous priest. He asked Catherine to send herself. That is, he asked her to consider consecrating her own life to Christ as a missionary sister. The Pope's words were a turning point. She sought spiritual counsel from trusted priests and saw the path forward. In 1889, her local newspaper ran the headline, Miss Drexel enters a Catholic convent gives up seven million. From that point on, Sister Catherine Drexel never stopped giving. Saint Teresa of Avila said that one man and God make an army. With Saint Catherine Drexel, one woman and a fortune made an army. She founded an order called the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament with the counsel and encouragement of Saint Mother Cabrini. Her order began over a hundred missions and schools for American Indians and African Americans in the American South and West, including one of the first universities to admit racial minorities. Catherine was decades ahead of the civil rights movement which caught fire in the U.S. in the decade after her death. Sister Catherine spent a good part of her life on trains, traveling at least six months every year to visit her apostolates and the sisters who staffed them. Yet amid all this activity, she maintained an intense life of prayer. In this she emulated the balance typical of the greatest saints. Their concern for justice, not social justice, was rooted in a deep love of God present in the Blessed Sacrament. There was no duality in this. It wasn't social work on one side and the sacraments and devotion on the other side. It was contemplation in action, love of God overflowing naturally into love of neighbor. After a life of generous self-gift, Saint Catherine suffered a major heart attack and spent the last twenty years of her life largely immobile, in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. She had always retained the desire to become a contemplative sister, and it was granted, in a sense, in her last two decades. She died at a venerable age in 1955 and was canonized by Pope St. John Paul II in 2000. St. John Newman, the Bishop of Philadelphia who died just two years after Catherine was born in his diocese, was a poor immigrant from Central Europe. Catherine embodied a succeeding generation of homegrown Catholicism. She was an icon of a new generation of Catholic Americans who would power the incredibly organized and vibrant life of the early and mid-20th church in the United States of America, educated in Catholic schools, socially conscious, pope-friendly, sacramentally focused, wealthy, and extremely generous. St. Catherine lived and died a model nun. St. Catherine Drexel, intercede before God to assist all who seek your aid to overcome the temptation to love inordinately the things of this world. Your holy detachment from wealth and comfort freed you for a life dedicated to prayer and service. May we have that same detachment and that same commitment to God.